In 2022, we sailed on nine of the world's largest new cruise ships. Of course, the common question that cruisers want to know is, which cruise ship was our favorite? So to answer that question, we put together this video. We compare all of these brand new mega ships to see which one wins the title for best cruise ship of the year up next. Welcome Bora Cruisers, I'm Don B from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you plan the perfect cruise so you can see the world one port at a time. Now, the wife and I have to admit that since the cruise come back, we've been very fortunate to cruise more than ever before. On one of those trips, we had the opportunity to spend at least six nights on nine of the newest mega ships to debut. These vessels included the world's largest cruise ship, Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas, Princess Cruises Discovery Princess, Disney Cruise Line's Disney Wish, Norwegian Prima, Virgin Voyages Valiant Lady, Celebrity Beyond, Carnal Celebration, MSC Seascape, and Hanamark Alliance Rotterdam. Of course, we have reviews for each of these ships here on our YouTube channel, but the more interesting analysis is how these different vessels compare to one another. So we created this video to rate these ships on 15 different categories. Now since the name of our website is Eat Sleep Cruise, you'll know that several of these categories have to do with the food and overall dining experience. However, we also include other categories that we feel are important to the overall cruise experience, like entertainment, overall decor, and of course, several others. And by the end of the video, you'll find out which ship took top awards for the best cruise ship of 2022, and you might be surprised at the results. So let's get started at one area we feel is very important to the cruise experience, and that's quick service dining. In 2022, one cruise ship outshined all the others in delivering the best casual, quick service options at sea. In fact, no other ship can match the variety of options food preparation, and flavor, as well as the atmosphere of the quick service on Carnival Celebration. Guy's Burger Joint remains one of the best takeout burger joints at sea. Likewise, cruisers can get customized burritos, bowls, or tacos for breakfast and lunch at the Blue Iguana Cantina on the Lido deck. Further, Street Eats serves up small bites with loaded french fries and options like dumplings, pad thai, or chicken sautés. These plates are just the right size for a quick snack when returning from a day ashore. Not to mention, aft on deck 16 is Shaq's Big Chicken. This quick service spot cooks up addictive crispy chicken sandwiches and tenders. Cruisers can grab a pizza at the Miami Slice Pizzeria until the early morning hours, or a sandwich from the nearby Deco Deli. Finally, the Java Blue Cafe served up some great grab and go options, like breakfast sandwiches in the morning, and sandwiches, chicken pies, and empanadas in the afternoon. Needless to say, there are so many options, you don't even need to step foot in the buffet on Carnival Celebration, but the ship has one of those as well. While Carnival Celebration takes the title for the best overall quick service at sea, we do have a few honorable mentions in this category. First up, we give a nod to the Indulge Food Hall on Norwegian Prima. This quick service venue offers seven complimentary food stations and perfectly prepared menu items. Cruisers can dine on items like beef brisket, pad thai with shrimp, and totopos, all ordered on a tablet and delivered tableside. Likewise, the Mickey and Friends Festival of Foods on Disney Wish is a great poolside dining venue. There are a total of five different eateries offering family-friendly favorites like pizza, hamburgers, hot dogs, and chicken tenders, fresh barbecue, or Tex-Mex favorites, plus soft serve ice cream, all steps away from the main pools. If you thought we were done evaluating casual dining with just one category, then you don't know us very well. While the aforementioned ships did an amazing job delivering great flavors and a diversity of options, some cruise ships did a better job at delivering specific menu items. Now, every cruise ship has pizza on board. Whether it's a standalone pizza joint or a station in the buffet, 
grabbing some pizza is almost mandatory on a cruise. Although not all cruise pizza is created equal. While some cruise lines pizza tastes like it's straight from the freezer, some of the offerings rival the best parlors in New York City. This past year, Discovery Princess helped Princess Cruises retain its title for the best pizza at sea. Gigi's Pizzeria on Deck 7 is a casual, complimentary sit-down restaurant that serves up mouth-watering pizza. The pizza is complete with a crispy and airy crust and massively combines layers of flavorful pizza sauce, cheese, and deluxe toppings. You can't pass up the Princess Pizza or the traditional pizza margarita. For a quick fix, Deck 16 is home to a second pizza place, Slice, which offers hot fresh pizza slices poolside. Although coming in a close second for best pizza is Virgin Voyage's Valiant Lady. The pizza place dishes out freshly prepared personal sized pizza. You can dine in or take your freshly prepared pie to go. The pepperoni and four cheese are among our favorites. Another nice bonus is that cruisers can enjoy freshly made salads in grab and go containers alongside their lunch. The venue is open during the day and then reopens in the evening for those late night munchies. There's nothing better on a hot Caribbean sea day than grabbing a burger and some fries poolside. Not surprisingly, many cruise lines feature grills that are a short walk from the main pool area. When it comes to the best burgers at sea though, Guy's Burger Joint on Carnival Celebration edges out the competition. Found on many Carnival ships, this fast food style venue still delivers. It offers a well-prepared, hot beef patty with the right mixture of toppings and a complete fixings bar. These burgers are served up with a hearty offering of seasoned fries, which are actually also a contender for best french fries at sea. While not the healthiest option, this lunchtime offering is quite delicious. If you're looking for something a bit less indulgent, our honorable mention for best hamburger at sea goes to the dive-in on Holland America Line's Rotterdam. These burgers are a bit more gourmet than guys with equally tasty fries. Not to mention the dive-in also serves original Nathan's hot dogs and chicken sandwiches for additional choices. Another bonus for this honorable mention winner is the ability for in-app ordering. You can skip the lines and order your burger and fries in the Holland America Line app and then receive a push notification when they're ready to be picked up. Certainly, cruisers are familiar with the main dining room, which serves a multi-course dinner every night. Plus, these venues usually offer a sit-down breakfast and lunch on select days. For all the foodies looking to experience the best cruise main dining room, look no further than Virgin Voyages. Instead of one dining venue serving a rotational menu each night, Cruisers can select from six different themed venues on Virgin Voyages. All of these restaurants are included in the cruise fare, just like the traditional main dining room on most cruise lines. Further, the food quality is top notch and the execution is flawless. At Pink Agave, cruisers can share an endless array of small, medium, and large plates. Like roasted corn, guacamole, seared shrimp, and roasted pork, to name a few. At the wake, premium steaks and chops come fresh off the grill alongside delectable sides and sweet satisfying desserts. There's also brunch with gourmet offerings like Eggs Bandic, Steak and Eggs, and more. Extra Virgin, Valiant Ladies Italian restaurant, serves up classic starters, entrees, and homemade pasta that rivals anything you find in the best restaurants on land. Other options include the first at sea Korean barbecue gun bay, the vegan-friendly Razzle Dazzle, and the six-course experiential dining experience at the Test Kitchen. Our honorable mention for best main dining room goes to Celebrity Beyond. Similar to Virgin Voyages, this new megaship has four different main dining rooms. Each main dining room has an exclusives menu with select items only available at that venue. Plus, each restaurant offers the same rotational menu, which changes nightly along with classics that are available throughout the cruise at all four restaurants. These four main dining rooms include the Greek Cyprus, the Italian Tuscan, 
the French Normandy, and the American Cosmopolitan. Not to mention, cruisers in aqua-class cabins have their own main dining room, blue, featuring health-conscious menus. Further, those cruisers staying in one of the retreat suites on Slayer to Beyond have a private dining room, Lumine. Lumine boasts an elevated Mediterranean menu, which includes signature items from Michelin chef Daniel Baloud. While there are plenty of complimentary dining options to see, these new mega ships also offer a number of upcharge venues. Honestly, there are so many great new and classic specialty restaurants that wowed us this year. But if we're forced to pick one ship, Celebrity Beyond had the perfect combination of various upscale options that were well worth the cost, in our opinion. New to Slurry Beyond is a specialty restaurant, Le Voyage. From executive chef Daniel Baloud, this exquisite and intimate restaurant features a globally inspired menu, offering a taste of cuisine from around the world. I was particularly fond of the tamarind and peanut crusted prawns and the Brazilian mocheca. It was one of the best meals I've had at sea. Among other standouts on the ship is the fine cut steakhouse. This restaurant offers succulent starters like a lobster cocktail and regatta de yaki. Further, the several premium cuts of beef pair well with gourmet sides like bacon mac and cheese and Greer tater tots. More grill favorites are available at the rooftop garden grill. This al fresco restaurant showcases smoky favorites like chicken wings, seafood skewers, and baby back ribs. Further, cruisers can pair dinner with a show at the Le Petit Chef or indulge in fresh seafood and land meats at Ron 5. There's also the experiential menu at the Eden Restaurant. This restaurant's newer menu offers some more approachable items like a GNC ceviche and the tandoori style beef. While Celebrity Beyond gets our vote for best overall specialty dining, we can't help but mention some of our other favorite specialty restaurants from 2022. We applaud Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas for its new Southern Comfort restaurant, The Mason Jar. Along with great dinner options, the venue serves an amazing brunch and some of the most flavorful signature drinks alongside live country music. For cruisers who are fond of Far East flavors, Tamarin on Hallmark Line's Rotterdam delivers some authentic Pan-Asian cuisine. From the lobster pot stickers, Szechuan shrimp, and red curry chicken, as well as Dungeness crab fried rice, Tamarin is leaps and bounds better than the competition. When it comes to cruise ship steakhouses, there are two that tie for second place in our opinion. The Butcher's Cut on MSC Seascape sears up an amazing filet with equally hearty sides like mac and cheese, fries, and decadent lava cake for dessert. Similarly, the Crown Grill on Princess Cruises takes a nod for best value. This steakhouse is only $28 and still manages to offer a delicious meal, complete with the line signature French onion soup, fine seared steaks, and sides. For those who love Italian food, Anda by Scarpetta on Norwegian Prima is a must. The freshly made pastas, pizzas, and entrees are exquisitely prepared and well worth the cover charge. While not many cruise lines do Italian food well, Anda on NCL's Prima deliver. For us, a perfect evening on any cruise encompasses a delicious multi-course dinner with a dynamic and captivating show. While all of the new cruise ships debuted with signature entertainment, there is one ship that shined above the competition. Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas wowed us once again with its signature lineup of shows. Granted, it's tough for the other lines to compete with a ship that offers so many unique entertainment venues at sea. In the Aqua Theater, the show Intense features an all-female cast of athletes. This high-energy performance mixes music, dance, acrobatics, and high-diving feats with special effects and amazing choreography. Additionally, the main theater is home to two signature productions. The special effects spectacular is The Effectors 2, Crash and Burn. This larger-than-life performance features superheroes, villains, and a one-of-a-kind drone show. It's certainly a technical marvel that shouldn't be missed. 
The theater is also home to the new show, Voices. This real world meets Zoom World production features a mix of pre-recorded voices and live performers. It was a powerful show, with some of the most talented singers we have ever seen on a cruise ship. Other entertainment on One of the Seas includes Ice Spectacular 365 and Studio B. This skating show portrays the changing of the seasons with well-choreographed numbers, complete with elaborate costumes and intricate sets. It's probably the best ice show that we've seen on a Royal Caribbean ship. Coming in a close second in the signature entertainment category is Norwegian Prima. The ship's transformational theater allows for several distinct setups, which are on full display with the unique shows featured on this new ship. Summer, the Donna Summer musical, rocks the house with the Disco Legends classic songs. The show features three lead singers with amazing voices and a strong supporting cast. Following the final performance of the night, the theater then turns into Studio 54 for cruisers to dance the night away. The Prima Theater morphs even further for the dynamic Noise Boys. Bringing the performers closer to the audience, this show mixes hip hop, R&B, tap dancing, and even beatboxing for one of the most unique shows at sea. Not to mention, Norwegian Prima is home to The Price is Right. Cruisers have the chance to come on down to compete for real prizes, and they could even win a Corvette if they come close enough to the retail price at the Showcase Showdown without going over. For the most part, the newest and largest cruise ships in the world offer a variety of music venues. Many ships have a lounge that offers piano music. Further, several ships have venues that feature live rock music or bands playing contemporary pop hits. You can also find duos playing pop songs. Occasionally, there's a standout performer you might find yourself frequenting throughout the week, like the country band in the Wonder of the Seas Mason Jar, or the string trio on Carnal Celebration in the Golden Jubilee. Although, there is one mega ship that really kicks things up a notch with its music programming. The Music Walk on Hanmar Klein's Rotterdam reigns supreme with its mix of musical styles and outstanding performers. On Deck 2 Forward, you'll find the Billboard Onboard on the port side. This piano bar is home to two musicians who play theme sets along with all request hours. During our trip, Megan and Gabe did an admirable job of recreating the most popular piano songs. On the starboard side of Deck 2, you'll find the Rolling Stone Rock Room. This venue, exclusive to Pentacle class ships, is by far our favorite music space on the ship. The band here, led by Mr. McMillan, is certainly not your typical cruise ship rock band. They had a wide catalog and were not afraid to improvise or add in some instrumental solos. Additionally, Deck 2 Midship is a two-deck space that doubles as both the BB King's Blues Club and the Lincoln Center Stage. During the afternoons and early evenings, the space hosts a quartet of musicians for classical orchestra sets that are a nice change of pace from what you typically find on a cruise ship. At night, the BB King's All-Star Band plays jazz and classic pop music. The spot also turns into the dance club with either the band or a DJ closing down the joint later in the night. While none of the other ships compare to the music programming on Rotterdam, we do have an honorable mention in this category for a specific music venue. On Norwegian Prima, we were big fans of Sid Norman's Poorhouse. This venue on Deck 7 is intricately themed, transporting cruisers to a hip music room from the 20th century. The band too is fantastic, with theme shows like Sail Away with Sid and Their Rumors Tribute. Just be sure to show up extra early if you want a seat for this rocking performance. Admittedly, we're not usually part of the late night crowd. While most cruise ships begin closing things up around 1 a.m., there are two new cruise ships in particular that will have you partying until the wee hours of the morning. Virgin Voyage's Valiant Lady is certainly a cruise ship for those who like to have a good time. You can find live rock music at the roundabout all hours of the evening. 
Not to mention, the DJ is often in the manor until the early morning hours. Whether it's a theme party or just a regular club vibe, this venue is one of the busiest on the ships at all times of night. Of course, Virgin Voyage's Valiant Lady is also home to several signature events. For instance, there's a pajama party on the first night of the cruise. Towards the end of the cruise, there's a ship-wide, immersive, anything but ordinary Scarlet Night party with pop-up performances, dancing in the pool alongside a giant octopus, and a mega after party. It's the biggest celebration on the high seas. Not to be outdone, MSC Cruises might hold the title for the latest party at sea. If there's one thing this international audience of cruisers know how to do, it's stay up late. While several of the bars and lounges on MSC Seascape close around midnight or 1am, Le Cabaret Rouge is a place to be late night. And the host wasn't lying when he said the venue was open till sunrise, as the club was hopping until 4 or 5 a.m. Even if you can't stay up that late, the cruise activity staff starts the fun much earlier. Almost every night of the cruise, there is a deck party. From the white party to the brand's tropical party, these events are very well attended when compared to deck parties and other cruise lines. In fact, there are even pre-party kickoffs that occur in the atrium, complete with live music, themed costumes, and a selfie station. The party gets started before dinner on MSC Cruises. For us, the cruise director and their staff are crucial to having a good time on a cruise. From setting the overall vibe to hosting events, these are the men and women that are responsible for all the fun. While it seems many cruise lines have started to downplay the cruise director role over the last couple of years, one ship's cruise director leaped over the competition with his funny, energetic, and charismatic personality. Lee Mason on Carnival Celebration sets a bar very high for a cruise director. He was everywhere, from hosting many of the activities to just roaming the ship, interacting with guests. He always had a smile on his face and was happy to take a quick selfie with guests. He led the fun squad in events from the Sailway Party to the Evolution Dance Party in Celebration Central. While Lee was fantastic, we like to give an honorable mention to Deval Gamble on Discovery Princess. Again, he was another high energy and great host for the week on our Mexican Riviera cruise. While his presentation was a bit more subtle, Duvall won people over with his smile and smart one-liners. He was a skilled host for games like Yes and No and Majority Rules in Princess Live. And likely, Duvall was regularly found around the ship saying hi and mingling with guests. While many of the cruise directors we had on ships this past year were pretty forgettable, both Lee and Duvall stood out from the crowd. With all the new cruise ships, Cruise Lines also debuted some brand new attractions in 2022. Hands down, the most exciting new ride on a cruise ship is the Robotron on MSC Seascape. In fact, this robotic simulator is perhaps the most thrilling attraction at sea. For a full three minutes, the Robotron whips, spins, and turns cruisers upside down on a heart-pumping ride. Cruisers can move to their own music on one of the medium settings, or turn up the speed with one of the preset fast rides. Either way, it's unlike anything else at sea. For something that's a bit faster and even longer, our honorable mention goes to the record-breaking Prima Speedway on Norwegian Prima. On this three-level track, cruisers can test their driving skills during an eight-minute race with a longer straightaway than its predecessors and 14 turns. Or new to this mega ship, Cruisers can see if they can break records with the you and the track experience. Free laps, just you and the racetrack versus the clock. We'd also like to give a special nod for best attractions at sea in 2022 to the Bolt Sea Coaster on Carnival Celebration. Clocking in at over 30 miles per hour, this electronic roller coaster at sea is pretty amazing, even if it only lasts less than a minute. While many cruise ships offer a variety of bars and lounges, none can beat the lineup of venues 
and signature menus found on Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas. There is a Latin-inspired menu and live music in Boleros. Not far away is the English pub, complete with a wide selection of beer and propers. There's even a bar for kids, well, sort of. The Bionic Bar is home to robotic bartenders that mix up popular cocktails, or you can craft your own. Apparently, our nephew was in love with his non-alcoholic concoctions. Traditional cruisers like us can't pass up the martinis, collins, and other mixed drinks at the schooner bar. The sidecar and lavender daiquiris are our go-to cocktails here. Sport lovers can enjoy beer and some wings at Playmaker Sports Bar and Arcade, while wine lovers can sip vino and snack on some pizza, al fresco style, at Giovanni's Wine Bar in Central Park. If you love the Caribbean vibes of the pool deck, then you'll never have to go far for a poolside drink, as there are three lime and coconut bars on Wonder of the Seas. Plus, there's the Solorium Bar, the Colorful View Bar, and the Cantina Fresca Bar with margaritas. Did we mention the Mason Jar has an addictive PB&J Old Fashioned? Cruisers can also rock out the Music Hall with themed libations like the Metallica or Strawberry Fields, or taking a ride in the Rising Tide Bar, which ascends from the promenade of Three Decks to Central Park. While Wonder of the Seas took the top spot for best bars at sea, there are a few creative bars and other cruise lines that we love as well. The wife and I could not get enough of the New Orleans themed Bayou Bar on Disney Wish. From the decor to the drinks and the beignets, we kept coming back to this venue for more. If you're looking for the most chill bar at sea, the dock or the dock house, a valiant lady is like spending a relaxing Sunday afternoon at an exclusive yacht club resort with fantastic gaff views and great cocktails. For early 20th century libations done right, the Half Moon Bar on Holland America Line's Rotterdam shows up a classy good time. Or for those who like their drinks with some backstory and freshly sourced ingredients, the Good Spirits Bar on Discovery Princess delivered handcrafted concoctions worth telling your friends about. Picking the best pool deck for the newest and largest cruise ships was not an easy task. Many of these vessels offer more outdoor spaces than ever before. Not to mention, almost all the ships boast multiple pools, with some reserved for families and others just for adults. Yet, when it came down to awarding the best pool deck, one cruise ship did the best at dispersing the crowds without sacrificing the fun. So with its four separate pool areas, Carnival Celebration snagged this title, just like those chair hogs due to pool loungers. The beach pool midship on deck 16 is Carnival Celebration's main pool. Cruisers can head here for live music and poolside games. For a more relaxed vibe, but still located near all the Lido food and drinks, the tides pool aft on this deck is home to another pool, more loungers, and two whirlpools. Adults will also love the massive serenity. This sun deck and pool area all the way forward in deck 17 is the ideal escape from all the families and kids. It's home to an exclusive bar, outdoor pool and whirlpools, a salad bar and sea days, and some of the most comfortable lounge furniture on the ship. If that's not enough, cruisers can head to the summer landing zone on deck eight. With whirlpools on the starboard side, this infinity pool overlooks the ship's wake for some amazing views while lounging poolside. Further, it's right next to Guy's Pig and Anchor, Smokehouse, Brewhouse, the Watering Hole Bar, and a short walk from Miami Slice Pizzeria. For cruisers who prefer a more cohesive Lido deck, Wonder of the Seas takes our honorable mention for best pool deck. With three giant pools and the family-friendly Splashaway Bay Aqua Park, the whole family can enjoy this pool deck. The sun deck has been redesigned from the other Oasis class ships as well. With an additional stadium-style seating and unique alcoves to give this outdoor space more character and privacy. 
Not to mention, the adults still have access to the Solarium all the way forward. And those staying in Royal Suites have access to the Suite Neighborhood Sun Deck, which includes a private plunge pool. Outdoor decks on modern cruise ships are adorned with plenty of amusements. Many include attractions like a basketball court or water slides. For us, the cruise ship that offered the best mix of activities was Norwegian Prima. Of course, the centerpiece of this sports deck is a three-story racetrack, which ranks as one of the best attractions at sea. Still, NCL supercharged the rest of the outdoor activities as well. Trading in the typical basketball court, there is the stadium. This complimentary outdoor space is home to games like pickleball, ping pong, shuffleboard, and even beer pong. Let's not forget some of the most thrilling dry slides at sea, the drop and the rush. These slides are completely complimentary as well. Nearby is the nine hole mini golf course. Now, we do agree that this activity should be free. However, this Vegas themed putt-putt is still a lot of fun. With automatic scoring and interactive holes, it's the most high-tech mini golf of any ship as well. Next door is the Bullseye Dart Lounge. For a nominal fee, you can challenge some friends in classic games like 301. Similarly, automatic scoring and an interactive digital display makes this game stress-free unless the loser has to buy drinks. While not technically part of the sports deck, there's also the Galaxy Pavilion. This virtual extension of the sports deck includes two of the most intricate escape rooms and some of the most advanced experiences at sea, including an XD cinema. When it comes to sports decks, if you're looking for something more traditional, our honorable mention goes to Carnival Celebration. Along with the electronic roller coaster Bolt, the sports deck on this ship boasts a number of complimentary offerings for the entire family. It features a nine hole mini golf course, a full sports court, a 230 plus foot long ropes course, which includes a zip line and a plank, a jogging track, tabletop games, and even a water park with three water slides. Most mega ships have a variety of stadium categories. Thus, to be consistent, we stayed in a standard balcony cabin on all nine of these new cruise ships. And the clear winner for best stateroom is Celebrity Beyond. Even though we're not huge fans of the Infinite Veranda, the rest of the cabin's furnishings, decor, and small touches make this our favorite stateroom of 2022. The stateroom's color palette is mostly muted, featuring lightwood tones with pops of red color. According to Celebrity Cruises' website, the room measures 243 square feet with a 42 square foot balcony. The spacious stateroom includes a king size bed and plenty of storage. The closet is smartly tucked around the corner behind the bathroom, with additional storage throughout the room. Beyond the bed, there is a sofa on one side and a desk and dresser on the other. The desk included several outlets and one centralized location for charging multiple devices. Not to mention the dresser has additional drawers for storage and the mini fridge. Even the bathroom is an upgrade. This marble bathroom is more chic than most contemporary cruise lines. It has plenty of space, storage, and an oversized stand-up shower. Although, we do have to give a shout out to the cabins on Norwegian Prima. The generously sized balcony state rooms on this ship offer plenty of space. Plus, the decor is more modern and sleek than other NCL ships. We also appreciate the number of power outlets in the cabin and the upgraded bathroom. Likewise, when it comes to style and decor, the new and improved Celebrity Beyond won us over. This third Edge class ship has been enhanced with several redesigned spaces. The Grand Plaza and Martini Bar are more open, stylish, and feel livelier and more inviting. The newly added World Class Bar and the Craft Social Bar add even more sophisticated fun to the inside spaces. 
Likewise, the newly enhanced two-story sunset bar is a welcome addition. Now almost twice the size, it includes a trendy Casablanca-inspired bar, plenty of comfy seating, great at views, and live music in the evenings. Additionally, the resort pool area feels more like a five-star resort than a cruise ship. And the rooftop garden is the adult replacement for a sports deck. With green spaces, lawn games, outdoor movies, and newly added float pools, we love this outdoor space. Celebrity Beyond also features other design staples, like the tranquil Eden aft on deck five, and upscale restaurant decor from complimentary main dining rooms to the elegant specialty restaurants. This premium cruise ship is gorgeous. With an easy to follow layout, it's simple to navigate and it's filled with so much to do, see, and eat that you might need a second cruise to experience it all. That's why we already have one booked for our anniversary in 2023. However, we do have several honorable mentions that we'd like to dole out for best cruise ship decor. As the cruise line's first new ship in a decade, we're very fond of the new Disney Wish. While so many DCL fans are not impressed with this new ship, we love this deluxe resort at sea. There is immaculate theming, a variety of venues, and one of the most intricate youth areas at sea. Even us big kids were quite impressed with all the public spaces and Disney touches. Likewise, Norwegian Prima is certainly NCL's classiest vessel. We love the sophisticated design and layout. For us, Ocean Boulevard and the Penrose Atrium are big improvements over similar spaces on the Breakway and Breakway Plus class ships. And honestly, Ocean Boulevard wins best waterfront promenade all day long. Lastly, if you're looking for a ship that sparkles, MSC Seascape is your gal. The ship's metallic finishes and Swarovski crystal staircases were made for the spotlight. Thus, this newest MSC Cruises ship is worthy of an honorable mention for best ship decor. Now, if you're still undecided on which cruise ship is right for your next cruise vacation, check out our cruise ship review playlist right here on YouTube. As we mentioned earlier, we have individual cruise reviews for all nine of the newest cruise ships to set sail in 2022. Or if you're looking for something even newer, you can check out our picks for the best new cruise ships of 2023. In that video, we give you a complete breakdown of all the new ships to set sail this year from all the major cruise lines, including Celebrity Cruises, Carnival Cruise Line, MSC Cruises, and more.